as we upgrade. I hope you record. Thank you for everyone to commit to I've told someone the other day, I said, two of the best museums in the country, other than the National Museum of Naval Aviation, which, okay, and the Smithsonian, are, are you here in San Diego and, and uh, Seattle. We do better events than all of them, including Smithsonian. I think you do. This guy's in. Okay. Yeah, Smithsonian. Wait, including Smithsonian's events and Jack Bailey's are. What does it? Did we have some? I don't. Ha I can't invest in your project anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's just I can't. This guy. This, this guy. This guy. This guy, you know, you've heard of blood out of a turnip. He's the only guy I know who can get it. That's it, actually. Yep. My new philosophy. You gotta understand. Appreciate it. My new philosophy in life. Family. Friends, three most important things other than your own personal personal credibility. Yes. Family, friends, and enough time to enjoy. Them. Well, and 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 I have and, and, and well, I didn't finish. Okay. And we have less of all three every day. Yes. Think about that. Family, friends, and time to enjoy them, and we have less of all three every day. Now see, I have one new philosophy. Okay, and it's a it's a rewrite of uh, reincarnation. I hope so. It's very simple. I hope so. And you can't win. <laughs> that should have made brought tears to your eyes. <laughs> that should have brought. Hey, what are we doing just, here? You just, you just yeah. Yeah, that's it. That they're behind the glasses. No, no, do we, do we, you don't, they're not going to ask me about the fair haze on my no. head back during the Apollo days. All right. She was only there, she was only a teenager, days. but she was old enough. Where's, okay. Where's that picture? You're putting that on here. Erase that quick. Oh <laughs> you know, it's, it's like that politician who doesn't know. What's this? I ran computers. Phil Constantine was at MSC. So. He started this is you? Apollo That's me. 16 back in the ago. day. Back National in the day. National Aeronautics Space. Where were you? Are you down in Houston? Yeah, he was in was, Houston. Uh, Phil? Gene Smith. Yeah, that, that, that you record that, would you please? <laughs> oh, wait, let me put a number under that. There you go. <laughs> No, I ran. I ran the computers downstairs from where you did were. You, you did. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now, and now, if it doesn't have a green button and a red button. You can't use it, right? Yeah, that's it. I, Isn't yeah. it incredible? VCR I told still someone says 12 o'clock. I, I gave a talk in Denver yesterday, day before yesterday, and I was talking the two most important things that came out of Apollo. Not the two most important. The most important is the human endeavor. This. Anyway, that's another story. Right. I talked about technology, and I said, you know, watch the Olympics in China, and go to your hospitals, and you know, I said, but, and, and what caught the people's attention, I said, see, it's so funny, you know, you got more technology in your hand today than I had when I landed on the moon. Crazy world, but that's the way it should be. Well, I think 11 had 256K in it, something like that, total processing. I don't even know what numbers mean anymore. How'd you get to San Diego? Uh, looking for work. I was here whenever I got out of flight training. The first place I came to when I was a young man was at Miramar. Mm -hmm. so, so you're back home. So I'm back speak. home. I was married here. I was married at the chapel at Miramar. Right. I, was, I was here when Shepard flew. A lot of history for me. This is Gene Cernan we're talking to. Flew on Gemini, flew on Apollo twice. He's one of three men who've actually been around the moon three, uh, twice. Three I'm on the moon, too. Have you, have you been on the moon, too? Okay. The special significance that you have, which you know, is he is the last person to leave the surface of the moon. And that was uh, 38 years ago. Well, 30, well, over 36, but it's far too long. Yeah. Far too long. Well, I remember talking to you in the 80s, and that was when it was about 20 years, and you said you couldn't yeah. believe it had been 20 years. So yeah. now it's been almost 40. Well, you know, and back in... Uh, in what we got back, we flew in December of 72, so in 73 I got on my soapbox down at Kennedy thanking him for everything, and I said, you know, I got tired of being, you know, how's it feel to be the end, the tail of the dog, the last one over the fence? It's not the end, it's just the beginning. I, I made a statement then. I said, we're not going to go back to the moon by the end of the decade. That was 70, January 73. Right. We'll be on our way tomorrow by the turn of the century. My glass has been half empty for 25, 30 years. But now, if we continue on with the program that President Bush laid out, if we continue on, and we have to continue on because there's too much at stake, uh, my glass will then be half full, no longer half empty. Very good. Very good. Now, you've had, uh, well, you're you're pretty well spoken. You're one of the, the you know. I've always felt that you're. Well, thank you. You're very good at explaining thoughts. And well, you got to talk in terms that people can understand. You can snow them with technology and walk away saying, "Boy, he's really smart." 
What did he say kind of stuff? You got to talk to people. Yeah, what, what's a question I get asked today? Mm -hmm. uh, not how many how many bits went through the paraloom at the, you know, whatever. They, right. How does it feel? Right. You know, were you scared? And people can relate to those things. They don't. The technology of Apollo is obsolete and so overshadowed by time, no one cares anymore. But 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 the legacy of Apollo is similar to the is was a follow on to the legacy of the Wright brothers. The inspiration and the passion it inspires in the hearts and mind of all those who follow, particularly those young kids. That's that's why we've got to continue and move forward. Education okay. is is the greatest is the greatest untapped resource of the space program. It stimulates kids to want to do what they didn't think they could do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's imp it's impossible. I, I'm a testimonial that the impossible happens. I went to the moon. So if these kids start dreaming about doing things that others were afraid to do, it'll happen. Right. It'll happen. And that's what it's all about. Well, what would you like to see the next step be? Now, they're talking about going back to the moon. Do you like the plans you've heard? Oh, I'm strongly supportive of going back to the moon. I think we ought to use it as a stepping stone to Mars, obviously. And I tell those young kids in fourth and fifth grade, they're, you know, we stood on the shoulders of giants when we reached for the stars. we got to be the shoulders today to give them the same opportunity someone gave me. And they're the ones that will be standing here someday talking to you or your grandson right. about what it's like to go to Mars. And, and there's no question, Space Shuttle is the greatest flying machine we've ever designed, built, and flown, but it doesn't go anywhere. You know, once you've been to the moon, Staying home is no longer good enough. Space Station is wonderful orbiting laboratory, but I don't know that there's anyone here, including me, who could yet name anything that's contributed to society. Maybe there is. It's important. It's a great asset, but I think it ought to be turned over to a consortium, a private consortium. Let them operate it, run it. Let them make money on it. Let them, let them, let them you know, it's a lab scientific laboratory. Let's get on with something that excites people. Okay. And, and then going back to the moon is, I'm not saying it's just saying to excite people. I'm telling you there, there's a, for no other reason, education may be the overriding reason. The stimulus to, to, to education may be the reason to go back. Plus, you know, who knows? Is there water on Mars? Does Mars look today like we looked on this planet a million jillion years ago? Is it look yeah. today like this planet may look in a jillion years into the future? We don't know. Won't know until you're there. You don't know. We don't know. And it's... You know, you, you've got to, the best, most versatile computer in the world sits right here, and we got to make use of it. Just sending robots is just not good enough. That's got more processing power. Yeah. Yeah. Or, and we can change, analyzing. and it can change its mind. You know, you know. Doesn't make have, use, make use of the time. It doesn't have to stick with the program it's originally. Yeah. Had. Computers are only as smart as we make them. Right. Well, That's you, it. Well, That's see, in your, in your, in your career, you've had several occasions where you had to take over and take command, and had you just been on autopilot. Well, yeah, and I, you know, I do a lot of. I'm, I'm big in corporate aviation safety right now, right. and doing a lot of work in that area. And I, and I, I, I don't preach. But I remind people that technology is not a crutch. Mm -hmm. It's an aid. And if you use it as a crutch, it will destroy you. It'll kill you. It, it, it's technology. Computers are an aid, not a crutch. It still takes the human being integrated into whatever you're doing to make it happen. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's why we do it. All right. One more question here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm getting long. No, no. I don't mind. I mean, we're just trying to get the line on this stuff. But uh, no, I'm gonna keep this for my personal question. Too. <laughs> okay. But uh, you were just talking to this other man about the three most important things. So why don't you why don't you tell our audience here about the three most you know, important it, things? You know, as you go to older, I don't know whether it's old age or maturity or whatever it is. You know, you look around and you say, God, how lucky I am to be here. Much less how lucky I am to have done what I've done in my lifetime and still be here to talk about it. And you look around. I got nine grandkids now, and uh, that's a long way from. From Sure Baby, I Fly Jets when I was back here in San Diego back in the, in the late 50s and 60s as a young 22-year-old, you know, invisible, invincible, and bulletproof naval aviator. So I got nine grandkids, and I look around, and, and, and uh, where did the time go? How did I get this far so quick? How did they grow up so fast? And if you look around, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, uncles, you be, you're, you're, you're family, very close. Friends, how many friends you go to high school and college and, and that you've lost along the way? Each day they all get older. Family, friends, and time, a time we have no control over. Three most important things in my life. And I realize I'm losing more of all three 
every day. Right. I can't stop any of that. Family, friends, and time, and you have less and less as each day goes by. And what does that say? It says you better start paying attention and enjoying your family while you can. Don't lose track of your friends. Tell them how important they were in your life. I'm getting six of my best friends in the world going back to grammar school all the way to within the last 10 or 15 years together. I'm calling them the gathering of the wannabes. We're all in the 70s, okay? They've all played in different phases of my life, whether it's in the Navy, whether it's a space program, or all played a significant impact as to who I am, what I am, and what I accomplished. And I said, friends, I'm going to get them together at the end of the year somewhere, and we're just going to tell stories. You know, it, it, because the next year, it'll be a year later in our lives. Maybe one of those guys won't be here. Maybe I won't be here. It's just, it's, I don't know, I, just, I get philosophical. But, but I, I, it's hard to argue with family, friends, and time, and, and have less and less as each day goes by.